Hi, I'm L.A. Callahan, pastry chef for Fannie Mae. Today we're in the Artisan Kitchen and we're talking about white chocolate. Now, a lot of people ask me, what is white chocolate? Uh, and there is some confusion about whether or not white chocolate really is, in fact, chocolate. And, and there's a little bit of controversy. Some people say, no, it isn't chocolate, it's white confection. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit about how it's made, how it differs from dark chocolate, and settle the debate. To understand what makes white chocolate white chocolate, I think the best uh, route is to talk a little bit about milk chocolate. Chocolate, as we know, is made primarily from three ingredients, cocoa beans, which are ground into a paste, cocoa butter, and then sugar to sweeten it. Milk chocolate is basically identical to dark, except that we've added dry milk sol solids to it. Those milk proteins give the milk chocolate that, that milky, caramelly flavor. If we took out the cocoa paste part and then just added like a little bit more cocoa butter and dry milk, that would give us white chocolate. So when we try to settle the debate of whether white chocolate or white confection is chocolate or not, as a pastry chef, I would answer, yes, absolutely, it is chocolate because it behaves in the same way that dark chocolate does, which is to say that it melts just like dark chocolate and it interacts with other ingredients just like dark chocolate. White chocolate uh, was a great innovation for pastry chefs and chocolate makers because it really opened up a whole arena of flavors uh, for pastry chefs and chocolate makers that before were difficult to pair. More acidic uh, fruit flavors, uh, more tart flavors like passion fruit or pineapple or uh, you know lemon. White chocolate because it's very sweet and it's very creamy it works as an excellent uh, partner to those flavors and uh, we have that match in some of our chocolates here, like the, uh, the lemonade uh, artisan chocolate. Uh, another great uh, aspect of white chocolate is that it gives another uh, color or another tone when we're designing a, a collection. That extra color gives us a lot of range and with our airbrushing techniques that we use in the artisan kitchen, it really allows us to make chocolates that are very, very colorful and very appealing to the eye. Thanks for joining us today in the Artisan Kitchen as we talked about the different types of chocolate and the debate between white chocolate and dark chocolate. I'm Elliot Callahan, and we'll see you again next time.